New Year, old you. Praise be to God. And I'm not just trying to say and have a little cliche about what I'm saying, but that's usually how it goes. It's a new year. We get excited about 2022, 2021 is gone. We didn't even operate in victory like we should have or could have or would have back in 21. And we're already talking about 2022, praise be to God. But the Bible clearly states if we would seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things will be added unto us. So we lift up our hearts and minds towards our help, which cometh all of our help. All of our help cometh from the Lord. Hallelujah. We meditate on God's word. We stand on God's promises and we walk in righteousness, being led by the power of the Holy Spirit. We just thank God for him keeping us. We just thank God for strengthening those who have been challenged in such a tough way. They couldn't wait for uh, 2021 to leave, to go. But to say 2021 is over, let's move on, is not enough. If you exclude Christ in your plans, if you decide to try to go out on your own, if you just caught up in religion or denominations or your finances or what you possess or your education, praise God, you will still operate in defeat. You will still operate with many struggles that you cannot overcome. As a believer, Jesus Christ, we are overcomers. Praise be to God. And greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Father God, as we study your word, as we read your word, we pray, Father God, that you would continue to move mightily upon our lives. There's so many people stricken, hallelujah, with the virus. There's so many people struggling right now. It, matter of fact, they predict that the virus is going to be at an all-time high in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months. But Father God, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And because of the precious blood of Jesus by your stripes, we were healed. So we're not waiting to get sick to be healed again. We are healed by the wound in your side. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father God, for another day, another day of peace, victory, another day of health, another day of strength in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father God, for comfort, comforting those who are challenged right now, who's sick right now, who's hurting right now, who just lost the love in this very uh, second Lord, we pray that you would just comfort them and strengthen them. We pray that they would look to you, the author and finisher of our faith in Jesus' name. We just thank God that we walk by faith and not by sight.